Hello, welcome to the video for what is interpolation, the F interp node. Okay, let's get started. First off the basics, the F interp stands for float interpolation. Basically, it allows us to put in two numbers and a distance that we want in those two numbers and allows us to get a value between in order to smoothly transition from one position to another or one value to another. So our float interpolation example here is going to be a scrolling camera in the third person view. So if you notice when I scroll my mouse, I'm zooming in and I'm zooming out and there's a slight interpolation. If I was to smoothly scroll constantly, you'll notice it's going from start to end. And I'm using the F interp node here, which has a little bit of easing. So you notice it quickly snaps and then slowly comes to a rest. Let me go and change this so we can see it in more depth. So you notice it zooms in or out and then slowly comes to a rest. So let's cover how an F interp node works. Unlike a lerp, which has a start and an end, and then you basically do a zero to one range between, an F interp takes a current value, a target value, and then a delta basically to determine how much distance there should be between the last time you moved it in order to determine where the next position should be. Now it doesn't have to be a delta, you could use something like a timeline or a, um, a message, a timer. But for this example, we're going to go and use a delta. So our current is basically our current actual position. For this one, I'm getting the target arm length on our spring arm. And then our target will be where we want it to be. So if we're zooming in, it's going to be a lower number. And if we're zooming out, it's going to be a higher number. And our delta is basically our delta time that I'm caching every tick. For the F interp 2, we have our interp speed. This is a lower number, um, one through five, one through 10, something like that. So if we were to adjust this back up to five and I ran it, you'll notice it's a pretty quick snap between each position with a little bit of easing. And if I was to lower that back to say two, you'll notice it's a fairly smoother over time with a little bit longer for the actual easing. So that's what the interp speed does. Now the variance on this one are the F interp to constant which is roughly the same thing, except you'll notice there is no easing. It's just going to go from one position to the other. And if I was to constantly scroll my mouse wheel, it'll go from the starting point to the ending point, depending on the values I've set. The F interp to constant does not have easing. It takes the same values, the current, the target, and the delta. But its interp speed, you'll notice, is much higher than the interp speed on the F interp 2. I'd say in the order of magnitude of about 100. If I was to set this to 100, for example, you'll notice I have a fairly slow movement. And if I set this to much higher, obviously, it's going to be a much quicker snap between each one. But you notice it's not a jump. This is interpolating. Over time, it's going smoothly from one position to the other. If I wasn't using the F interp to, it's going to snap from one position to the other. Now, the last one is the F interp ease in out. This one works a lot more like a lerp. You know, there's an A, a B, and an alpha, and then the exponent, which determines how quickly it's done. For this example, basically I'm taking the delta time, adding it to itself every tick, and if it rolls over one, I'm resetting it back to zero. So this way I have a zero to one, which is what you need for your alpha here. This is not the proper way of, of doing this, but for our purposes to explain how it works, it will be fine. So if I go and run this, you'll notice I kind of have a weird zooming in and out. And depending on how fast I roll my wheel, I can actually go from start to end really quickly. You can think of the F interp ease in out more of a lerp node that has an easing function added onto it. That's the easiest way to do it. So if you want a lerp that's not necessarily smooth from start to finish, but has easing, you can go and use the F interp ease in out. So to roughly cover how I did this and what we're doing, let me go ahead and rehook this back up. We'll go ahead and go through our event graph here. Basically when the mouse wheel rolls up, I'm taking the spring arms target arm length. 
Now the spring arm's target arm length is basically how far away from the um, camera do we want, how far from the target do we want the camera to stay? So by default it's 300 and if we increase it, it's going to go farther away from the target. If we decrease it, it's going to go closer to a target. So when I'm using the mouse wheel up or down, I'm basically just subtracting our goal higher or lower, depending on if the mouse wheel goes up or down. And then I'm clamping it to make sure we don't go out of bounds. So it's, it's pretty simple and standard here. Basically, I'm just, when this wheel goes up or down, I'm setting a new goal that we want to interpolate to. On the actual tick itself, I'm basically checking to see if we are at our goal. And if we are not at our goal, I'm using the not node. We're going to go ahead and calculate the new distance we should be, and then set the new distance on the arm length. So basically every tick, this is going to see if we should be scrolling in or out on our camera. And if we are, it go ahead and it uses the interp nodes to scroll in or out till we get to our goal and then it stops. So that's how this works. We are using the F interp nodes in order to do that. One of the keys here is unlike a lerp, which you may be using or may be used to, the interpolate nodes do not have a start and end point and then you interpolate between the two. It has a current point and an end point and then an interpolation value between the two. So that's important. If you're having an issue having your interpolate nodes working, it may be because you're trying to set your beginning and your ending rather than your current and your ending. So always make sure if you notice on here, I'm getting our current one figuring out where it should be and then setting it again. So that way every time we loop through, our arm length is changing in terms of its value. So that is how you use an interp, F interp node. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave comments below.